day. Queer. Faggot. Now that's the response I get more often than you'd think when I tell people I'm a dancer. Dance is more often than not thought of as a female art. Little girls are raised to be ballerinas and boys raised to be football stars. So when a male crosses that gender divide, he's often perceived as feminine or more often than not gay. Of course, there's nothing wrong with being gay. A lot of male dancers are gay. But it creates a culture for males that is hard to break into because society ostracizes you for a simple thing such as this, a pair of slippers. In general, I was really proud of the fact, definitely going in. And I really didn't even pay attention. Like, I didn't think about people would make fun of me for it, you know. It was something that was so ingrained in me at this point that, that I was like, I, I couldn't even understand why people would make fun of you for doing something that was so awesome, because I thought it was, you know, it was the tits, and, and everybody else just, like, didn't get it, and that was the weirdest thing. Ian Servant understands this more than most. He has been dancing since he was seven, and had to experience firsthand what society thought of a male dancer. Um, because going into middle school, especially, I mean, middle school kids are cruel, so there's already that element, you know, people start bullying and teasing each other, and that's already there, and then compounded with the, you know, there's this kid who's doing ballet, which is, for a lot of people, just the strangest, weirdest thing. And it's not just the kids, but the parents didn't understand it. And there's this, you know, there's this whole social stigma about it, you know. Again, going back to the, you know, femininity thing. All right, how about this? My nephew loves to dance. A gifted little boy moves like a gazelle. How old is he? I don't know, 11, 12. It's hard to say. He's got a big head. <laughs> I'd love to have a boy in the class. It's hard to get males that age excited about ballet. Really? Because Jake is just ballet this and ballet that. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll tell you what, why don't you bring him by tomorrow? I've got a surprise for you. It's not my food, is it? Because I'm starting to feel a little dizzy. No, you're going to get to do something that I'll bet no other boy in your class has ever done. You're going to learn to dance ballet. Well, I bet. <laughs> I remember early on, it was okay. very clear to me that this was definitely uh, female-dominated in, in terms of numbers. Um, and I remember, you know, going through different classes, you know, occasionally there might be one or two other guys. Uh, but for the most part, I was the only one who really actually stuck, stuck uh, with it, the, you know, the entire time growing up. Um, you know, there were some other people that came in transiently, but, but I was the only one who was consistently there. Um, and that was really difficult. I was the only boy in the class, and I really didn't like that. There was a couple other boys in gymnastics with me, um, so that didn't bother me as much, but in the dance classes, it was only girls. It was a small town in, the, in Illinois, so I was bothered by that. Now I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> now that's like the earliest, this is like the most basic tease is like faggot. And obviously that has, I mean, people say that all the time. It's a normal, you know, tease, and that's, that's a way that people talk to people. At, at first, you know, it was awful, and, and it was really demoralizing. Um, and then through my experiences traveling and dancing with other guys and meeting so many gay people, you know, I just stopped caring. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing intrinsically bad about calling someone gay. I just look at it as somebody, somebody saying something stupid, not hurtful. I, I don't know, like, it's sort of one of those things that what came first, the chicken or the egg? Mm -hmm. Like, because I'm gay, do I have a, ten, a, like a propensity for artistic endeavors or for dance? Which I don't necessarily think is the case. Or because I'm gay, am, am I willing to indulge, or uh, because I'm gay, am I willing to um, dive into a culture that's uh, dominated by women? Um, I don't really know for sure. You, there's a soft, especially in like the ballet tradition or even some of the more contemporary work, there is this softness and elegance to the way you move, um, and that's like an aesthetic that's sought after. There's a, the appearance that, they're, that men can be effeminate, especially when on stage. Uh, but the amount of work that goes into being a dancer is in no way feminine. Or, you know, it's very physical, it's very taxing, and all the cross training that you need to do, like lifting and just ab exercises, Pilates, sit-ups, all, all that stuff. 
is a very masculine endeavor, and it's an athletic endeavor. And if you look at ath athletes as or athleticism as a you know more masculine thing, which is sort of not misogynistic but gender biasing, um, then it is a very masculine endeavor. Just because when I'm doing it, it's absolutely incredible and so intense. And I mean, you get winded and you get exhausted and you do strength training and you do all this stuff to, to build, you know, your body in order to be able to do this because it's absolutely exhausting. And then partnering um, where you're working with other women, um, that's also just absolutely insane, you know, because there are, you know, there are social dances where you dance with women and there's like an interaction. But then when you take it to this really physical extreme where you are literally using one hand to lift a woman above your head, like that's crazy. Like, I, I, there's no way that you can't see that and think that's a very masculine thing to do. Because you're just taking this woman and you're just manipulating her with your hands. And it's a very strength-based thing. Um, and it, it's, in, it's insanely masculine, really. It's, it's, dancing as a guy is really extremely powerful feeling. But masculinity and what society deems to be acceptable is culturally defined. And in other countries such as Brazil, they take on a different notion of dance. Simply, we, one could say it's just part of a, a nation's life, style of life. Uh, therefore, uh, basically all of our celebrations are infused by dance and chanting and music. And even when you go to sports events, Brazilians have a tendency to not stay seat and just clapping or so. It's uh, most of the time everybody's standing and moving as they they cheer or pro or against, of course. And, and having more than <clears throat> 450 different kind of folk expressions in the country that makes quite rich culturally speaking. It is the the world of performing arts, and in this case, the dance world. Is, we are minority, there's no doubt about it. There's many more women than men dancing. It's, 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 a, it's a problem of education. You know, if you don't grow up around the arts, you know, if the arts isn't you know, well funded in your area and you just aren't exposed to it, you, you just don't get it. And there are just people that don't understand and I really think it's a problem with it, exposure. And, and I'm really happy that I was able to expose dance to them because without that, uh, you just kind of continue this cycle of ignorance and it's important to educate people about the arts because once once people are exposed to it they love it